Yes, Colonel. I understand completely. I will do my best to ensure that your men are well prepared for the deployment to the Bloodsuckers' territory. I promise you that your funding is being used properly. Thanks once again for your generous donation. Oh, damn. I must cut a conversation short as my daughter just got home. Will that be all for now, Colonel? Thank you, and good day. Well, hey there, my beautiful future wolf princess. Honey? Honey, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Wait, what happened to your clothes? And your hair? And why does your backpack look like you ran it through your grandmama's sewing machine? Hey, look at me. What happened? You know you can tell your father anything. Did you make a fool out yourself trying to impress them new city girls that just transferred over here this past month? Because if so, I already told you that them girls... Oh, so, what happened? Hey, don't you start acting like a brat and walk away from your father when he's trying to talk to you, darling. What happened to you? They did what? How dare they? Sweetie, you need to tell me. How long has this been going on for? Was it just this morning or... Five whole weeks? And you've just been hiding from your father? Oh, so today was when it just got worse. Has it always been physical or... They called you what? They covered your hair in glitter and called you the F word and the D word. <sighs> Sweetie pie, I need you to tell me who those girls are. My little wolfy princess, I need you to just trust in your father. I would never embarrass you in public and call them out while holding your hand. You ain't in puppet school no more. I am just going to make sure that this never happens again. Well, let's just say they're going to wish I just went to the dean or the principal or whatever they want to call them nowadays. <sighs> Darling, tell me their names in a very brief description. Okay, there's three of them. Jessica Lewis, oldest, tallest, short brunette, always was camo. Hmm, sounds like those tomboys I used to have fun. Never mind. Alright. Diana Stevens, tall, blonde hair, in tight dreads, and likes to wear tight, form-fitting tap-out apparel. Alright. Okay, and the third... Tiffany Butler, the youngest, shortest, and the fattest with pink pigtails. Gamer nerd. Hmm. The joke just write themselves. Alright, darling. You can go to your room and calm down if you like. I'll order us a pizza and your favorite ice cream. Hmm. I love you too, my lovely, amazing daughter. Hey, it's Staff Sergeant Marshall. Do we still have that old interrogation room from back in the 40s? Good, just checking. No, this time the humans took it too far. They attacked my little girl and called her nasty names. Yes, so I need you to have your contacts bring over some... Tools. My guys will have your usual 10 G's. Thank you, you too, Mr. Don Lucifero. Hmm. 
my little wolf here. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how deep your father's love goes and the lengths I will go to protect you. Are these the city girls that bullied you? Thank you. And don't worry. All you have to do is sit down and watch. Wakey, wakey, ladies. <laughs> relax, relax. There's no point trying to escape. Now. I hope you don't confuse the occasional sounds of cars, trucks, and motorcycles passing by and dogs barking for possible rescuing. Nobody can hear you. The walls are made with special military-grade soundproofing. We can hear out, but nobody can hear in. Oh, also, for a bit of psychological warfare, we've designed it so any and all firearms sound like they're outdoors. Are you inside still, or did we take you outside? <laughs> Being a werewolf has its perks. So, let's start with, uh, how about you? Diana Stevens. So, it looks like we got ourselves a father in our presence. You trying to be the next Ronda Rousey with that hairstyle and your failed attempts to bleach your hair? I'm gonna guess that you are the one who roughed up my daughter. Hey, 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 hey girl. Why looking away? I thought you liked guys who look like me. You's a father, ain't you? Hmm. Maybe I just need to get your attention better. Tell you what, to let y'all know I'm truly serious. Hey, you, fat girl. Yeah, you, bitch tits. Tiffany Butler, looking like an anime girl who ate the actual attractive one. You know you're not doing yourself any good by having pink pig tails. Also, I saw them cuts going up and down your wrists. Were you trying to create the barcode for your favorite chocolate milk? You realized that you weren't cutting into cake, right? <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, I never knew you were the type of girl to think she's hot enough for modeling. Then again, social media and TikTok has falls thinking they're tens. I thought that was only for, to quote your infamous IG Live, secret clam eaters who will grow up to become a wrinkly old copy eater because all of them a bunch of F slurs. Huh. I'm surprised the D word didn't make it in there. Well, <laughs> it's because I managed to find your headshots you tried to delete off your phone. These headshots are pretty good, all. <laughs> Although I prefer these types of headshots instead. <laughs> Look at you two, peeing in your booty shorts like a bunch of cowards. Where's all that strong uh, female bullying energy you had when you were picking on my little wolf princess for being a lesbian? Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, it's far too late for apologizing now, girl. Well, now that I've got your attention, Diana, I think it's time you picked on someone your own size. <laughs> well, what's wrong? Ain't women just as strong as men's? Now, without slipping over fatty's brain matter and skull fragments, I want you to show me what you got. Aw, oh, whatever is the matter. I thought you were the type to, quote, wreck anyone who dares step up to this bad bitch. <laughs> is this reminding you of your uh, extra affectionate uncle and how he used to also call you the F slur after hugging you on his lap for hours? <laughs> I read your files, bitch. 
I read about how your uncle used to be locked up for beating up your second auntie when she tried to protect you when you was about knee had of a cornstalk. He sure was quite a beast, wasn't he? How does it feel being as powerless now as you were back then? So, come on, tough girl. Show me what you got. Do to me what you did to my daughter. Come on, free shot. I mean, I'm waiting... Mm. Yeah, if that was your hardest punch, you're not ready for the octagon. However, now it's my turn. Let's put on a show for your best buddy, Jessica. Roughly around a minute to finish her off. Then again, I was trying to enjoy this. <laughs> you really think someone's gonna find you? How cliche. You won't get away with this. And who's gonna stop me? Yo, Wonder Woman wannabe ass. You know, I did my research too. Looks like your mama was in the military alongside me back in the 70s. I made her skim like a bitch in more ways than one. <laughs> I did say she was alongside me. Yeah, in my pack and I hypnotized her and used her body as a barrack bunny after she tried to sneak up on us. <laughs> You wonder why your mama has so many adopted children? Whoa, 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 whoa now. What's wrong? You gonna start crying, girl? Well, before you do, how about I put glitter in your hair so you feel the same pain my daughter went through? What? You don't want it anymore? Well, that doesn't make this as fun as I thought you would be. Well, in that case, it's time for plan B. What was it that you said to my daughter? All she's gonna be is an F slur and D slur who's always gonna be yo bish. Well, I got boys whose punishments are rated E for everyone. Let's just say they really, really love the taste of military tomboys, just like your mama. And lucky for them, you're tied up, so I did the hard work for them. Will they kill you after they're done? I don't know. But all I do know is that the video proof is going to be sent to all your friends on the cheerleading squad. But before you do, I want you to tell my daughter you're sorry. And my daughter, what do you say? Atta girl. One moment. <laughs> now let this be a lesson to your family and all your friends. Stay away from my daughter. She's all yours, boys. There's enough for all five of you. Come on, darling. Let's get out of here. And I promise that nobody is ever going to pick on you ever again. Your father loves his lovely wolf with all his heart.
Hmm. I love you too, sweetie pie.